it's a rather complicated time right now to be able to manage cancer pain effectively during the time of an opioid epidemic here in the United States and unfortunately in other countries as well. How can we provide safe care for our patients, allowing them to have access to medicines that are so vital, and at the same time keeping our community safe? There are several strategies. One is to conduct a very thorough pain assessment, and that also includes understanding that patient's risk for substance use disorder. The second is to be very aware of the syndromes that occur in cancer patients, what kinds of pain occur, so we can really understand the etiology. And if we better understand what causes the pain, possibly find treatments that might treat that etiology. And then the more complicated part is then identifying processes that will reduce the risk as much as possible. And that includes using databases that tell us when and where patients got their medicines refilled, doing urine toxicology to ensure that they're taking the medicines that we're prescribing, and also not taking medicines that they shouldn't be and having difficult conversations with patients when you do find substances that shouldn't be on board.